All right, today we're looking at the Acer Extenza EX5430. This is a great all-around laptop. If you're looking for a general laptop, you don't know what you want to buy, uh, you just need something that's going to get you by, take you to class, you know, surf the web, do your email stuff, this is perfect. And it's got a few bonus uh, prizes that come in the package. You get a little bit of uh, accelerated graphics on here. It does have a dedicated graphics card, which is going to be really good in case uh, you're going to take your laptop, you're going to use it a little bit more. You're not going to do the email and the homework and all that stuff, but you want to do something that's a little bit more powerful. You want to play a high-def video. You want to send it out to a big TV to use this thing as a multimedia center. It's got that dedicated graphics, so it can do that. It's got a dual core processor. It's got four gigabytes of memory. It's got a nice size hard drive. So it's a really, really nice all around laptop. Unique design. Take a look at this keyboard. Never seen anything like it. It's actually ergonomically designed, as you can see. It curves upward on the edges, and it kind of matches the fact that your fingers curve upwards as well um, when you're in your general typing position. If you type, you know, regularly. Um, if you don't, if you're not a big touch typer and like a touch typist, uh, it will still work for you, no problem. So don't worry about that. But it is unique. It does have a nice trackpad that has the button separated from the trackpad, which is something that uh, a lot of people really, really like. So if you're looking for something like that, this is perfect. Uh, and it's also got a really nice display. If you don't know. It's got a 15.4 inch display. It actually does 1280 by 800 lines of resolution, so it has no problem doing a 720p HD video uh, natively on the display. Uh, it's got a great processor. It's actually an AMD QL62. It's actually a 2 gigahertz uh, dual core. It's got 3 gigabytes of DDR2 memory, uh, which is really nice. Uh, definitely for the operating system it's running, it's actually running a 32 bit version of Windows 7 uh, Professional, which is nice. It also gives you, if you don't know, Professional. Uh, the advantage that it gives you of the home premium version of Windows 7 is that it does give you that XP mode and that's going to give you added compatibility. If you're using an old program, if you're using this for business, especially to have older software that might have been proprietary and designed a long time ago, it's going to work perfectly in Windows XP mode, whereas prior in a Vista laptop it wouldn't have worked and it would have been a big pain. It's going to be a non-issue with Windows 7. Now, if you still want to run Windows XP, uh, what's great about this laptop as well is that it also comes with a free XP Pro downgrade. So even if you have Windows 7 Professional and you have the XP mode, uh, if you really just don't get along with Windows 7, uh, which shouldn't be the case, it should be uh, working fine for you, you can actually downgrade it no problem. On top of that, uh, you have 250 gigabyte hard drive, uh, which is going to be more than enough. It's a 5400 RPM SATA drive. You also have uh, ATI Radeon Mobility HD 3200 uh, graphics on here. It's actually got a dedicated 256 megabytes of uh, memory that you can use as a frame buffer, but it can also share memory with the uh, three gigabytes that you have of system memory. So it'll do up to 1.9 gigabytes of total memory for frame buffer. That means you're going to get some really nice performance as far as graphics go. If you're watching movies, you're playing a simple video game, it's going to work great. Now, the 3200 series is not super duper powerful, uh, but it will play uh, most of games that are out there right now. Not super new ones, but it'll play most of them, and it's definitely going to play uh, your videos. I mean, perfect. It's going to do silky smooth video playback for Blu rays, HD content, 1080p. 720p, it really doesn't matter. It'll play the 720p on the display, but if you do desire to do 1080p and you want to put it out to a big TV, you can do that as well. The HDMI port is uh, actually on the back on this one, and it also comes with HDCP, which means that it'll do a copyright protected uh, video file. It'll send it out over the HDMI, and it'll also send out 7.1 channel HD audio, so you're getting a full home theater experience just uh, with that little uh, cable, HDMI cable, very, very nice setup. Uh, now, on top of all that good stuff, as far as connectivity goes, it's got it all. It's got 10, 100, 1,000 Ethernet, uh, which is also called Gigabit Ethernet. It's actually twice as, it's actually 10 times faster uh, than 10, 100 Ethernet, so it's a huge boost in performance. You have NDRAF Wireless, which is actually three times faster than the fastest uh, B and G wireless. Uh, so that's also a very nice upgrade. It's got a six cell lithium ion battery. It's gonna give you about mm, two and a half to three hours of battery life on this laptop. Really, really nice setup now. I want to show you around, show you where, show you where everything is. Uh, I want to point to you something over here. See that right there? It's a signal up uh, right there. That's an Acer exclusive design attribute of this laptop. And what that means is it has the Wi-Fi antenna built into the top of the screen. Uh, it's going to give you the most amount of reception. Sometimes they have the uh, Wi-Fi enabled uh, cards and they're just literally, you know, they, they plug into the bottom onto the motherboard of the laptop and they're down here. It's not going to get you, it's not going to help too much. You have a lot of electromagnetic interference, you have a lot of electricity, you have a lot of heat down there. Um, and then on top of that, there's plastic and silicone and metal all through there that's blocking the signal. With the signal up, uh, you basically have the antenna all the way at the top of the display. It's going to give you the most amount of reception. It's going to give you the longest range and the fastest bandwidth, which is really important. Also, I want to point uh, your attention over here to this very nice webcam. Now this is a crystal eye webcam as you can see right there. That's Acer's proprietary webcam and basically uh, it's going to give you incredible low light performance. It's got a really fast uh, and easy to use autofocus. It's got some specific, uh, specifically designed proprietary software as well. It's going to let you get the most out of it uh, and it's also useful uh, for any type of teleconferencing. If you want to do Skype calls with somebody or instant messenger, uh, it's really good for that. Really simple to use. 
Uh, and with that, I will take you on a quick tour of the laptop. I want to show you around. Uh, this is an interesting laptop because it has some stuff on the back, which is kind of something you don't see that often. But uh, I like where they put everything. So starting off from over here, uh, this is a Kensington lock right over here on the left-hand side. This is your port replicator. So if you have uh, want to get an Acer port replicator, you can uh, dock this thing. You do have a VGA port right there in case you want to hook up an external monitor. You have a 10100-1000 Ethernet port right there. This is your HDMI right there, which can send out a 1080p signal plus multi-channel HD audio out to your television. And then you have two USB 2.0 ports uh, right there. And then over here, this is really interesting. Check this out. This thing actually has two express card slots. Uh, so you can actually insert a 34 millimeter at the bottom and a 54 millimeter up here at the top. Uh, so that means you can do a TV tuner and a sound car. There's a bunch of different things that you can plug into here. And it's nice that you get a little bit of both. Uh, also up here in the front, Multi-card reader. Uh, this is actually a very multi-card reader. It's a five-in-one. It's going to do your MD. Uh, I'm sorry, your SD, your XD, uh, your Sony sticks, your Pros, your MMS sticks. All those are going to work in here, no problem. Moving down the line, you have your uh, input and your output for your headset and your microphones, as well as a line out right next to it. Uh, over here is the Bluetooth manual switch for the antenna. So if you want to turn your Bluetooth off, you just flick it like that. Now turned off. Same thing for Wi-Fi. If you want to turn it off, you just uh, flip that switch right there, and it will turn off. And then uh, moving on over to this side. Uh, this is a very, very nice DVD-RW drive. It's basically uh, going to do just about everything that you want it to do, whether it be uh, dual-layer discs, single-layer discs, plus R's, minus R's, RAMs, ROMs. Uh, it's going to do all that stuff, no problem. Uh, coming over here to the back, you have another USB 2.0 port right there. And this right here is actually a combo port. It's a USB 2.0 and an eSATA. Uh, so again, you have a ton of uh, USB 2.0 ports on this laptop, one of the most I've ever seen on a laptop. You have a uh, V9256K modem right there, and uh, this is basically where you're going to plug in uh, your power port. So, uh, very sweet uh, laptop. It's the Extensa 5430. I mean, it's got a dual core processor, it's got three gigabytes of memory, it's got dedicated graphics, HDMI, uh, two express card slots. That's a feature that you do not find. I think it's uh, quite unique to this laptop. So, if you have, if you're the type of person that needs something that has two slots, this is perfect for you because uh, it literally might be the only laptop that you're going to find that does it. Great display, great hardware, great specs, awesome laptop. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. If you want to get some more information on the Acer Extensa EX5430, just type in A180-15401 into any major search engine. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.